welcome back to the channel everybody today we're in columbia south carolina again but this time we're staying right off of usc's campus in the downtown congressional area so let's take a look at our hotel <music> Okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying this is an upgrade from the room we were originally going to be in. And we are currently in a king bedroom suite. So, here we go. All right, so right when you walk in the door, it's a very kind of narrow alleyway here. You've got the light switch. You can kind of get a feel for this space right here. It's not a little whole lot here. And then um, we cut over to the bathroom, closet, microwave area. Um, yes, we do have some food here, just to kinda, so we don't have to eat out every single night since we are here for two weeks. Closet, closet has hangers. You got a luggage rack, ironing board and iron. And then the hair dryer is in there. And then you come on in, right off of that, into the bathroom, which is one of the tiniest bathrooms I've had. I don't know. Sin. Like, we stay in a lot of hotels, and this is definitely one of the smallest bathrooms we have had. So, one of the complications with this, especially pretty much in every room in this hotel, is the doors. This door barely clears the toilet. So when you come in here, you have to close the door in order to use any of the facilities, unless you want to sit like side saddle on the toilet. The shower um, does get really hot and it's not dirty, it's just it's old. Um, but again, like this bathroom is just so tiny. I will give them props for actually putting a light in the shower. So many hotels we've been staying at lately don't have a light in the actual shower. So there's that. But overall, it's a tiny, tiny bathroom, especially for this to be their biggest room suite. Um, so over here in this little alcove is where the microwave, the coffee cups, and the little coffee maker is. And then our ice bucket is back here as well. And then we kind of decided to utilize this space as like extra storage. Um, for our water bottles and um, our vitamins and stuff. Okay, so again, back to the front door. We've got this hallway here. Another mirror. Hello. We come into the main living space. And I do apologize if it's a little backlit. I'll get it from the other angle. So this space is actually pretty open, I have to say. Um, we've got this weird clamshell of a couch and this weird clamshell of a chair and there's Gary. Um, interesting to note, there's only one nightstand. One nightstand by the couch here. Um, the other side does not have that. So, and there's just these two itty bitty lamps. It is very dark in here at night. Um, Couch definitely comfortably sits two people. We sat on it last night without any issue. All right, so we're gonna catch it from this angle so hopefully you guys can kind of get a better idea of the room. There is a desk working station. Again, another little little light here. This table actually comes out. Um, you see this a lot with extended stays. Um, not so much in regular hotels where they have like this big table piece that you can pull out and utilize But honestly, I don't even know where you would put it in this room at all There's not while it's open. There's not a whole lot to it um, The mini fridge is in that cabinet right there um, You do have three more drawers and a TV in here Oh, look at all the fingerprints on that. Anyways um, Yeah so that's the mini fridge. The room does come with a mini fridge and a microwave. They're just not close to each other, which is weird. Again, some more awkward space. All right, now we're gonna go into the bedroom 
and this is going to be a little backlit initially while I come in here. Now the windows are big um, and open so it does let a lot of light in here during the daytime um, but at night you only have the two sconces for light in this room so there's not a whole lot of light in here at nighttime. I'm going to flip over here so you guys can kind of see. So there's like these weird bay doors here that open up into this room but I'm going to show you show you a funny thing so the door here opens right but this door does not it doesn't even like you couldn't do anything back here because it literally hits the bed weird right store this this whole place is like full of weird shit when it happens to deal with doors um so yeah, and then right across the street is the university over there, and then more of the university down that way. And yeah, so there are two nightstands on either side of the bed in here, so that's that's nice. Um, the plug situation is very strange because all you have is this one one piece on either side. And then we have a little alarm clock that has some USBs on top of it. But that is it. And all right. So the other thing to note too is that the air conditioning unit is in this room. So it takes a long time for this unit to get air into the rest of the unit. Last night it was quite warm in here until the AC had been on for a few hours. Then it finally did start to cool off in the other half of the room. But yeah, a little bit more awkward space back here. We've got a weird random outlet on the wall with nothing underneath to be able to use that. There are some more outlets on the backs of the walls back here. And again, the lamps all have like these outlets on them, which is interesting. So yeah. That is the tour of the room. Stick around for all the other bits and pieces. Now we're gonna talk about the bed. And we slept on it last night. Honestly, we were both really exhausted because we had been up almost 24 hours by the time we actually got into bed because it was a long travel day yesterday and then I actually ended up working some, um, which I wasn't initially planning on doing. But uh, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the bed. So I'm gonna do my little, like I always do. Cause you wanna see how bouncy it's gonna be? Um, so here we go. It's been a minute since I've done this. <laughs> it's not very bouncy. It actually, it actually is pretty solid bed. Um, I would definitely say it's more on the firmer side versus soft and plush. Uh, I will say the comforter itself was like thicker and I could appreciate that because a lot of times now we're just getting like these very thin comforters and I freeze almost all night long. The pillows were okay. They're not king size pillows, which again, I feel like if you're on a king size bed, you should be getting king size pillows. And um, yeah, I slept okay. I will definitely put in our final thoughts how it was actually sleeping on it for more than one night. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video for that. And now on to the gym. All right, so we're in the gym and they do have some free lights. They are definitely some old free lights. There's a little bit of rust on them. Definitely some old lights. And then they do have some machines. We got uh, elliptical, elliptical, bikey bike, and then three treadmills. They keep towels in the fridge so you can get a cold towel. Don't know why, but there's towels in the fridge. Fascinating. They have like this pull up machine and then a bench and a ball. So I thought maybe they put water in here because I don't see a water machine. Right. Interesting. So they have cold towels, they have dry towels, I guess. You can get earbuds too if you need them. They're available at the front desk, but this is pretty much the gym. It's kind of small in comparison to some of the other ones we've been to, but here's 
in the back corner. And of course they have mirrors on one side to try to make it look bigger, but these are just mirrors. All right, let's keep exploring. Each of them has a, a TV listing on them in case you're interested. And then check out the treadmills. I just noticed they look really worn. Especially like you can see the, the wear here. Well, and look how uneven the tread is. It's supposed yeah. to be all the way across and it's clearly pushed to the side. It needs to be redone. This the other is crazy. ones look a little better. That one looks pretty rough. That one, at least the treads in the middle. Yeah. These other two. Yeah, this one's still a little bit on the side. But... I don't know. Let us know in those comments. Uh, this looks a little uh, janky, if you ask me. A little janky. All right, so here's the washer and dryer setup. It is a dollar fifty, and these are Sears Kenmore, and I guarantee you they're at least twenty years old, if not older. Uh, it's kind of insane that they're charging a dollar fifty to use these machines. Check out the buttons. <laughs> I mean, come on now. There's the dryer times, in case you're wondering. Man, these things are freaking ancient. Like everything else at this hotel, it's just ancient. Please do not overload the 50 year old dryers and washers. Nice. One last pan, there's only four for the whole hotel. All right, so this is the outdoor seating area right outside the pool. You'll see the pool's over here. And then there's a nice little outdoor seating area. It kind of reminds me of the one that we stayed at in Arizona. Check that video up in the top right-hand corner. That is nice, but it definitely has that same feel. The furniture is the same brand, it looks like. It doesn't look as clean, but <clears throat> I like this. Too bad the fireplace isn't on, but there's a nice fireplace and the TV out here. Let's see what the warning sign says. Hot glass will cause burns. Okay. The pool is definitely not clean. As he said, the pool is definitely not clean. All right, so here's the pool area for you. There's some little chairs. It's all open. And this is kind of like an industrial area around it, so not the greatest. There's a smoke shop over there. I mean, it's not like the greatest vibe here. Uh, very, very noisy. Yeah, we're right on the college campus here, which I was hoping was gonna give us a little bit of a different vibe. Uh, but I'm just going to be honest, everywhere in Columbia has the same vibe. So uh, one thing you'll see too is the pool is disgusting. We will actually go out there in a second, but it has got leaves and a bunch of junk. Where are the leaves coming from, y'all? Where are the leaves coming There's a tree all the way over there by that school. Uh, but that's it. There's no trees around us. So very weird. Very weird. All right, so here's the pool, y'all. The bottom clearly needs to be refinished. There's a lot of sand down there. Some trash. Oh, oh, there's a uh, vacuum. He ain't working up. now. He gave up. He quit. He quit. He said, nope, you ain't paying me enough. Can't... <laughs> yes, there's an extension cord. Yes. Look at how dirty. Look at how dirty this fucking... Sorry. Look at how dirty this step is. Holy moly. So that is dirt. I wasn't sure at first. That is dirt. It really needs to be cleaned. Large, but it was 75 degrees today. That's a perfect pool day. Now in fairness, this is a really big space for a pool. For a lot of our hotels that we stay at, the pool space is not this big. Yeah. Um, but really, the pool's not clean, so it's not really of any value. And it does look a little deeper. It does look, say... There's four. There's five. Let's see what that end one's up. Five. It is nine feet. Wow, this is almost an Olympic sized pool, y'all. If it was a little bit further, it went to 10 feet. I think that's technically an Olympic sized pool, but not clean. And uh, as you see, the robot's plugged in with an extension cord. I don't think that's safe, but what do I know? I know. Oh, and, uh, I know. Well, probably trip the GFI. That's probably why it's not working right now. But uh, anybody been to that smoke shop? It's called the Smoke Shop Guys, and they sell CBD oil to smoke. I didn't 
I think that's a good idea. And there's the pool, so you'll see it's like an outside area. And there is the hotel. So let's keep exploring. And so here's the first loft area. You see straight down this way, there's all their conference rooms. And I'll show you, there's a legit tip for the thing at the end. There's a secret parking lot back there, so if you're on the second story, you can easily get to your room. It's a nice little lobby. Campus picture here. Yeah. So here's the fancy lobby for you. It's really nice. So this is what the other floors look like. Boop. And boop. And then there's the hallway for that. So not much different. There is like a gas smell on the higher floors, but this is the newer floors. Not much newer, if you ask me. So here's the entryway to the Marriott. And there is parking in the back, and then there's parking upstairs as well. And this also, is where it's also, you should know there is no elevator. From the parking structure, yes. Your best bet is if you need an elevator is to either park on the first floor but you're gonna have a little bit of a walk or park all the way at the top with the outside parking and walk in on the second floor and then you can use those elevators the guy jamming out with his uh, music nice little uphill climb yeah so here's the back parking lot and this is one of the parking lots for the hotel there's nicey and you'll see there's a lot of construction going on back here. There's actually four or five restaurants in that building. And then on the corner back there, there's another few restaurants. So there's a lot of stuff in walking distance from this hotel. All right, so that concludes our visit at the Marriott, right across the street from the courtyard. University of South Carolina. It's a courtyard. Courtyard. What did you think? Um, so overall, the hotel is very outdated. It's small. Yes. And um, definitely needs a remodel. Definitely needs a remodel, hundred uh, percent. The rooms are okay if you're doing a short stay, um, like if you're just coming in for a game, or maybe you're just coming for a short weekend. Oh, you're it's visiting a, your your kid who goes here. Yeah, that's okay. But if you're staying here for longer than a few days, you may want to consider a different hotel because it's just, it's so tiny. Like the and, room feels so cramped. And I would put a caveat too on that. If you're staying here for your daughter or son or for the game or whatever, if you like amenities, this is not the hotel to go to. The amenities are super outdated. Uh, the few that they have, the pool area is nice, but they don't clean the pool. So there's a bunch of different things here that maybe there are some better hotels in the area you might want to stay at. Yeah, the gym is really outdated, and um, one one of the positives I will say is it is very walkable. There are a lot of restaurants um, and things to kind of see that you don't need a vehicle to do. Definitely. There's a lot of restaurants that you can reach here from a Moe's to a little uh, Mexican restaurant to like a Greek restaurant that are easily walkable in this area, which are super nice. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff around the university that you can walk to and see. You do have to pay for parking here, so it is $10 a day to park here, so keep that in mind. And the room ranges from about 200 to in the 300s a night, which is a little expensive for this area. Not the most expensive, but it is a little bit expensive. Yeah, and for what you're paying, you, you really just don't get your money's worth. Agreed. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.